Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm going to quickly show you how to make the most of what Tailwind for Instagram has to offer. I'm going to walk you through some of our most powerful features so that you can start posting to Instagram like a pro in no time. Now, before you get started, you'll need to get the mobile app for Tailwind. You can find our app in the App Store by searching for Tailwind app. You can also go to the dashboard, click on Settings, and select Tailwind iOS app from there. We'll send a link to download your app directly to your phone. And once you've got it, just sign in and enable notifications when we prompt you to. Right now, there are two ways for you to manage and schedule your Instagram posts in Tailwind. You can schedule posts to Instagram on your desktop or laptop, or you can do it on your iPhone or iPad. We're going to start with scheduling on a laptop and then we'll take a look at the mobile app. In this video, we'll be focused over here in the publish section of the dashboard. If you're already familiar with how our Pinterest publisher works on the laptop, you can go ahead and skip to just past the 11 minute mark in this video where we'll discuss the unique aspects of Instagram on mobile. Right now, I'm in my draft section. This is where you'll work on posts before you're ready to schedule them. And there are two primary ways to add drafts to Tailwind. First, you can click the Create New Post button just above your calendar and bulk upload images from your computer. I'll go ahead and upload a couple of photos now. Let's use these images here. And there, now I've got these photos added as new drafts. I can also upload photos to Tailwind by finding them on my computer first, and then I can select them and drag and drop all of them directly into my drafts. The second way to add a post to your drafts is by using our Tailwind browser extension. If you haven't downloaded our extension yet, then just click on the extension button in your drafts page here. We'll automatically recognize which browser you're using and suggest the appropriate extension for you. Using our extension, you can easily regram images from Instagram.com or post any image you find on the web. So let's try it on our Tailwind blog to share a recent post. Anytime you see an image that you want to post, all you need to do is hover over the image and click the schedule button that appears over the bottom left corner. Now, what if there are multiple images that you want to schedule from this page? Well, the extension makes that easy too. Just click on the Tailwind button up here in your toolbar. All of the images on the page will be displays for you to choose from, and you can click to select as many as you'd like. You'll see them queuing up at the bottom as you pick each one. And once you're ready, just click the Go Schedule button in the corner and a draft will be created for each of the images that you picked. In the pop-up window here, I've got four images that I just selected. You can go ahead and schedule them right here if you want, or you can click Save for Later and they'll stay in your drafts page so you can come back to them later. Let's go ahead and schedule these now. First, let's update some of our captions and add some hashtags. Just click on the caption section of your post to edit it. Okay, these look pretty good. So we're ready to schedule these posts now. And this part is very important. There are two easy ways to schedule a post. First, the quickest way to schedule is by simply clicking on the Add to Queue button. This will schedule the post into the next available time in the smart schedule that we've created for you. When you add the queue, you can be rest assured that your posts are being scheduled for the best possible times when your followers and others are most likely to actually see them. In just a moment, I'll tell you all about how this works. Now, what if you have a special event coming up and you need a little more control to be able to schedule at a precise date and time? Well, you can do that too. Just click on the clock in the lower left corner to choose a specific date and time for your post to be published. Here, we're going to select Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. Now, all we need to do is just click set custom time and then schedule now and your post is ready to go. So there you have it, two easy ways to schedule any post. Okay, now that I've scheduled all four of my posts, we can find them in the scheduled post page in Tailwind. 
Here you can see every post that I've scheduled to post in the future. On the left, you can see captions for each post and the times they're scheduled to post. Here's one I scheduled two days into the future at a specific time, and here are the three that I quickly added to my queue. You're probably asking yourself now, how do these posts get scheduled at three different times today? And what are these empty boxes that follow them? I'll explain that to you now. Let's click on your schedule in the menu to find out exactly how this works. On this page, you can set up your entire weekly posting schedule ahead of time. You can see your schedule divided into days of the week, and under each day, you'll see boxes with times in them. These boxes are what we call time slots, and they signify the time that you want your photos to be posted on Instagram every single week. So, you can see here that on Wednesday, which is today for me, I want to post at 5.05, 9 o'clock, and 11.30, because these are some of the best times to post on Wednesday. Now, if I go back to the schedule page, I can hover over each post in my calendar. You can see this first one is going out at 5.05, the next at 9 o'clock, and the third at 11.30, exactly how I have it set in my schedule. These posts automatically went into the next available time slot on my calendar. That's why adding to your queue is so important. It'll save you tons of time. So the next time I schedule a post to my queue, it'll be scheduled in the next available time slot for Thursday at 3.10, and the one after that will be scheduled for Thursday at 6.06, .06, and so on. This means that you can set up your entire schedule in advance, set it, and forget it. Just think about how much time you'll save when you don't need to worry about picking a date and time for every single post. Just let your schedule do all the work for you. All right, let's head back to the Your Schedule page. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. How do I figure out what the best possible times to post are so that I get as much engagement as possible? Well, when you first signed up for Tailwind, we crunched a bunch of data on when users on Instagram interact with your posts most often. All of these green time slots that you see here are optimized specifically for your account based on that data. Now, when you're scheduling using the Add to Queue option and you fill up your calendar, you can have peace of mind knowing that your posts are set up to have the best chance of being seen by the most people. If you want to create more smart time slots that are optimized for your account, look for these empty time slots that are outlined in green. These are suggestions for more optimized times that you can be posting. You don't have to add these, but if you wanted to post more frequently and have more time slots to fill a given week, just click on one of these suggestions to add the time slot to your schedule just like that. Now, let's say that you wanted to post every Saturday at 9 a.m. instead of the 9.30 a.m. slot we suggested because you have to take your child to soccer practice every week. Well, you can easily create time slots for any time of the day on any day of the week. Just click on the Add Time Slot button, and then select the time you want with the slider, and voila, it's done. If you're having trouble filling all the time slots throughout the week, or if there's a time that just doesn't work for you, click on it, and you'll see a trash can icon in the top right corner. Just click on the trash can, and the time slot is gone. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's head back over to the scheduled page just one more time. So, now what happens if your plans change? Maybe a blog or product post gets delayed, and you need a change when your posts go out. Well, you can easily hover over a post on the left and click to edit the caption, change the time, send it back to drafts to start over, or delete the post entirely. But if you just had a blog post get delayed, or maybe you wanted to rearrange your nine grid for aesthetic purposes, then that's just as easy as dragging and dropping. If I want a post to go out in a different spot on my calendar, all I have to do is click it, drag it, and then drop it. If necessary, your photos will automatically move to accommodate it. Now, what if instead you like to bulk process your posts as you work? So you've got a lot of photos with inspirational quotes scheduled in succession, 
followed by a series of product photos, and you'd like to mix those posts together in your calendar. Well, we made that very easy too. You can use the shuffle button here to randomly rearrange all of your posts. Just watch this post in the first time slot right here. Now I'll click shuffle, and just like that, my posts have been randomly rearranged. I can tweak my schedule further by dragging and dropping if I'd like to. Now, you might have noticed that this post further down didn't get shuffled. It's still going out on Friday. Remember how this was the post I scheduled at a specific time instead of just adding it to my queue? You'll notice it looks a bit different than the other posts on my calendar because it has a small clock right here in the corner. This clock indicates that the post has been scheduled with a custom time outside of the time slots you have set in your calendar. You'll also notice that this post is locked. When a post is locked, that means it won't move when you shuffle. Posts scheduled with a custom time will be automatically locked by default, but you can click on it to unlock it at any time. You can also lock any other post you've scheduled if you want to make sure it stays put. Just click the lock icon here to lock it. For this last section, I'll clear everything out and just use this image here. I want to highlight three game-changing features that will help you generate even more engagement. On Instagram, hashtags help your content reach new people. But figuring out which hashtags you should use for each post can be challenging. Tailwind is the only Instagram scheduler that suggests the best hashtags for your post as you type your caption. I'll show you how it works with this post here. First, let's write a quick caption, and then add a hashtag. And as soon as I add a hashtag, you can see below that Tailwind has started suggesting more hashtags for me to use in this post. We have niche hashtags that may not be used by many people, but might be really relevant to your brand or niche. At the other end of the spectrum, we have competitive hashtags that might have a lot of usage and activity. Although there's a lot of activity, it may be a bit harder to get noticed. Good and best hashtags typically fall into a sweet spot in between. Choosing the right hashtags can substantially improve engagement on your posts, and we recommend using a blend of different hashtag types. Now, you'll notice as I add more hashtags, I can see exactly how many I'm using over here on the left. Instagram has a limit of 30 hashtags, so make sure you don't add too many. Now, I like this collection of hashtags, so I'm going to save it for future use. To save your current list of hashtags, or to create a new saved hashtag list from scratch, click the hashtag button here. I'll click this copy button to pull in the hashtags I already have in my caption. Give this list a name so I can easily remember it next time, and then I'll save it. When I create posts like this one in the future, I won't need to remember every hashtag that I already carefully curated. Now, let's go ahead and schedule this post. The final thing I want to show you on the desktop app is our 9Grid preview. Now that we've scheduled this post, I want to know. How is my all-important 9Grid, the first impression to my new potential fans, going to look when they visit my Instagram profile? Tailwind makes it really easy to preview your 9Grid so you can arrange your posts in the most visually appealing way. To see what your 9Grid is going to look like, just click this button to toggle your view between the calendar or the 9Grid preview. Now I can see exactly how my Instagram feed will look once I publish this image. And that's pretty much it for scheduling posts on the desktop. Now let's quickly take a look at how to do this in the mobile app as well. If you already have a photo on your mobile device, you can schedule it from here without sending it to your desktop computer. First, just navigate to the Tailwind app icon on your phone. And once you have it open, click the plus icon at the bottom to add a photo from your phone to your drafts. Now that the photo is in your drafts, just tap the screen to set your caption.
And once you're done, you can either add this post directly to your queue now, or you can save it as a draft and schedule it later. I'll go ahead and add it to my queue now. And there you have it. I've successfully scheduled a post. Down along the bottom of the app, you'll see that you can access your drafts, view your calendar, and view your published posts. The calendar tab shows me all the posts I have scheduled now. Here you can see all the photos that I've worked on so far. And just like on the desktop app, I can tap and hold to drag and drop an image anywhere. It's that easy. If you want to check in on recent posts, just click the Publish tab. You'll see a feed of every recent Instagram post you've made. And finally, if you're managing multiple social media accounts in Tailwind, you can click on this profile icon at the top to switch between them. Now that you've learned how to schedule on your desktop and mobile device, let's answer the most important question. What happens once it's time to post? When it's time to post, you'll receive a reminder notification on your phone, just like this one here. This means it's time to post, and all you have to do is swipe the notification to open your post in the app. And don't worry, if you miss the notification when it comes in, it'll stay on your screen. You can also access your past notifications by pulling down at the top of your phone screen to access the notification center. In addition, you can also navigate to your Tailwind notification settings and change the style to alert. This makes it even harder to accidentally miss a notification. Here's the post I had scheduled for today. You'll notice we have some instructions just below your photo in case you forget anything I'm about to tell you. Now I'm just going to double check my caption and tap it to make a minor tweak. And now I'm ready to share this to Instagram. So I'm just going to tap the big blue open an Instagram button at the bottom here. This is going to take me directly into Instagram with my photo already loaded up and ready to share. Now you can select a filter, crop the image, or make any other edits that you'd like, the same way you already know how and love. Did you memorize that caption from before? No? Well, me neither. But luckily, Tailwind automatically copied that caption to my clipboard, so all I need to do is tap in the open space and paste it in. And there you have it. You have posted your photo. In case you never finished posting it on Instagram, or if you want to schedule this photo again once you've tapped on that big blue open an Instagram button, this post is going to be moved to your published post section in the app. And here it is, the photo I just posted right at the top. Hopefully you've learned a lot. In the last several minutes, we've covered how to set up your schedule, how to create drafts on desktop and mobile, and how to publish your photos once you receive your notification. Now you have all the tools you need to save yourself hours every week and enjoy even more success. One final helpful tip. If you ever have any questions or feedback, click the big blue question mark in the bottom right of any page in Tailwind. Here you can look up answers to common questions and message us directly. We read and answer every piece of feedback and request, so don't hesitate to reach out because we really want to hear from you. Best of luck and happy gramming!